Before we talk about building an air system, talking about air is a good place to start. In this video, we will talk about understanding the relationship between pressure and volume. This will help you when you are sizing your compressor to the loads that you will have in your air system. With a few tricks, you will be able to do this and leave your slide ruler in your toolbox too. First, let's look at what happens to air as you compress it. As your compressor runs, if it were to fill a one cubic foot tank, the first seven cubic feet of air that it draws in will only raise the pressure in the tank to 40 psi. However, the next three cubic feet of air it draws in will bring the pressure in the tank up to 150 psi. Thus, a tank like this with 150 psi doesn't have three times more air as the one with 40 psi. It only has roughly one third more air packed into it. This is important because most every compressor will give you a rating of CFM as the output and most tools, ours included, will tell you how many CFM you need to run them. So what does CFM or cubic feet per minute mean when you are buying a compressor or a tool? The sad answer is that there is no easy way to compare items that may even have the same quote CFM rating because CFM is only one part of the equation. CFM should always be followed by the pressure it is at. There is a big difference between a tiny fan that outputs 10 CFM at 0 PSI and a big compressor that puts out 10 CFM at 150 PSI. The compressor has to take in 100 cubic feet of 0 PSI air to make the 10 cubic feet of 150 PSI air it puts out. Often though, the specification you will receive only includes a single rating, and while dealing with most compressors, it is relatively safe to assume that they are giving the rating at a 90 PSI or shop air pressure. But what does that mean when you have a tool that runs at 120 PSI? There is no simple translation between the two, and to make matters worse, different types of compressors may have the same rating at 90 PSI and totally different ratings at higher pressures due to the way the pistons are staged. So without doing a lot of math that no blacksmith should ever subject themselves to, only to find out you're wrong anyways, this is what you could take away from this. Higher horsepower compressors do more work either by making volume or pressure. The more stages a compressor has, the better it is at high pressure, while the fewer stages it has, the better it will be at a lower pressure. Don't get stages and number of pistons confused either. High pressure is a poor substitution for air volume, and while it will help your tool do more work in some cases, many tools do not need high pressure to do a good job. In other words, if all your tools need 90 PSI, then having your line pressure at 175 PSI and regulating it down doesn't help you as much with volume as having a bigger tank at 120 PSI might, while letting your compressor work less. Basically, more volume is always a good thing, but you should only make as much pressure as you have to. Any more is a waste. Also, high pressure is no substitute for volume. Thanks, and subscribe to keep up with what is new with Blue.